Moi, je suis Reluende Jeanne-Marie Wedraogo. Je suis originaire du Burkina Faso, du diocèse de Wayubia. Et je suis religieuse dans la congrégation des sœurs de la Providence de la Pomeray. Et présentement en mission dans notre maison mère, qui est un centre spirituel d'accueil de groupes en recherche de ressourcement spirituel et de formation. My name is Basil Choyoye. I am a priest of the Society of African Missions, SMA. At the moment, I am working in Lyon. I am looking after the new cultural program called. CCA, a carrefour of uh, African cultures or cultures of Africa. Uh, it is from there that I came to be in the facilitating team of this assembly with uh, Sister Jean Marie. Moi, euh, avec le Père Basile et le Conseil Général, euh, nous avons commencé la préparation de cette assemblée depuis euh, novembre 2017. Voilà, nous nous sommes retrouvés à la Nocheta avec euh, la commission de, de coordination et nous avons suivi une formation workshop, comme on dit, en, sur le discernement appréciatif euh, qui avait été proposé par le CEDOS. C'était déjà une entrée en matière dans la méthodologie. Cette méthodologie pouvait être appliquée euh, au thème de de cette Assemblée Générale qui est une famille fidèle à son charisme missionnaire dans le contexte changeant et complexe d'aujourd'hui. Donc avec la, la commission de coordination, nous avons fait le travail préparatoire pour euh, les entités et les communautés apostoliques. C'est intéressant que la préparation de l'Assemblée a commencé en 2017. Je pense que after the plenary council of 2017 when the team of the assembly was decided and the appreciative discernment approach was approved so after that then uh, sister jean marie and myself uh, met the general council in rome in november 2017 with the members of the preparatory commission and there were there were also members of the structural commissions then it was at that period that we started the formal preparation of the assembly uh, we sister jean marie and myself and some members of the general council and members of the preparatory commission had to attend a workshop organized by CEDOS. CEDOS is uh, a body for religious institutes here in Rome that does uh, research and other activities in relation to uh, religious uh, institutes and the Society of, of Africa Mission belongs to that group so that was a workshop on appreciative discernment and after the workshop then the, the formal work of preparation of the assembly began and since then there were a lot of meetings between uh, the facilitators sister jean marie and myself the members of the general council until uh, the assembly began sometime the end of last month the principal task as facilitators is to help the assembly achieve its aim and the aim of the assembly are very well outlined in the constitution of the society and it can be divided into three or regrouped into three aims. One is to review the past six years of the life of the society of the SMA, elect a new superior general and a council and also to plan for the coming six years in relation with the team that has been identified uh, for the coming six years, that's the team of this uh, assembly, a family faithful to missionary charism in the context of a complex and changing uh, world and situation. So that has been our work, is to ensure that the, the rules 
and regulations that were outlined by the preparatory committee, approved by the general council and approved by the assembly itself that those rules are followed so that the, the work goes smoothly, the, the ambience of the assembly goes well and uh, everybody does what they are asked to do so that the, the objectives that have been outlined uh, are met. So yes, we began by having a, a small get-together that was an introduction of the assembly the eve of the of the work. I can't remember the actual date, but it was a very good get-together. I'm sure the pictures and the videos are available uh, in the website of the Media Center or SMA website. So we began with that get together, and after the following day, we started the work of the assembly. The methodology is divided into three stages. The first stage is that of dreams, that is projecting the society into the six coming years, 2025, in this time, dreaming what the society will be like. The work of dreams really started last year. And all the assembly did at the beginning was to complete that work, to summarize the dreams that came from the entire society. Then the second stage was to design the future of the SMA from those dreams. And uh, the third stage is where we are at the moment, uh, the do it stage, which is really having a realistic action plan for the coming six years. And everything is done in the process of discernment. It's not done in the process of choosing, choosing that is taking and rejecting something. No, everything is integrated in the process of discernment so that in the coming six years, the SMA will actually be a family. And that's what we are in between that then there was the election of the Superior General that went very well. Uh, there was a discernment done and uh, the result, we know it already, Father Antonio Pochilato had been elected uh, Superior General. Generally, the ambience is very good. Uh, people are working. The methodology is demanding, it's new. We are not used to it as a society, but it's appreciated and the members of the assembly are giving their best to it. It's a demanding task for the facilitators because we have to ensure that uh, the program is followed. However, we also have to be attentive to the needs of the members of the assembly, bearing in mind that uh, the, the task is important, but also the ambience, the brotherhood, uh, and a positive ambiance is also important, and that's what we try to do. Um, tout au long des de jours de, de travail, de recherche, de réflexion, je suis impressionnée et touchée par euh, la passion, la passion pour la mission qui, qui anime euh, l'Assemblée, qui anime euh, les membres de la, de la Société des Missions Africaines. Et, euh, L'audace la, à aller toujours plus profond pour, pour trouver les, les moyens et, et aussi les, la source pour, pour la mission, tout pour la mission. Et comme disait le Monseigneur Marion de Brésillac, être missionnaire du fond du cœur. Et c'est ce que je découvre ici, dans, dans cette ambiance dans la passion pour le peuple africain et pour les peuples d'origine africaine. Les sujets qui... Les principaux sujets de, de réflexion, de recherche sont la mission, la spiritualité, le style de vie, euh, la formation, la formation, le, les finances, et le leadership, le service de l'autorité et, et les structures. Voilà. Et la société est en pleine restructuration et les structures au service de la mission. L'ambiance est très cordiale et fraternelle et elle permet 
de rechercher un consensus dans, dans l'échange de, des travaux de chaque groupe voilà, pour que le, le travail final soit un, un travail commun, une recherche commune pour, pour le bien de toute la société. I must admit that uh, I'm very much impressed by the the changes that have happened in the society from uh, previous uh, assemblies. The the participants are from different age groups, uh, very young people, uh, like. Uh, Sister Jean Marie just said, full of enthusiasm, bringing their youthfulness. And then some elderly people, senior people. Uh, I think there's somebody there who is maybe at his seventh or eighth General Assembly. You know. And that requires a lot, a lot, a lot of give and take. So we, we can sense it in the discussion, in the exchange that takes place the diversity of age and the diversity of culture that is represented in the, in the, in the dis discussion. And for us facilitators, uh, Sister Jean-Marie and myself, it keeps us on our toes that we have to find the right dynamic to make this diversity be become uh, enriched. You know, and uh, there's also the issue of uh, the, the, the place of the laity that is very much present on the table, I think that is the, the Holy Spirit I check in the assembly. I, I don't know if Sister John Marie would want to say something about that, that diversity, especially uh, these surprise, surprises that we are living. Oui, effectivement, je suis touché par um la diversité culturelle, la diversité, l'intergénérationnel, l'internationalité, l'interculturalité, qui n'est pas un frein, mais qui est un tremplin, une chance pour, pour la SMA, et aussi euh, un lieu de, de transmission. Et, la, Les anciennes entités ont encore leur place et quelque chose à donner. Et les, les jeunes entités euh, prennent appui voilà, sur, sur ce dépôt reçu, sur cet héritage, qu'elles euh, essaient aujourd'hui de, de faire fructifier et de, de faire vivre avec passion. Et, et cet aspect -là est, est très important. Et pour moi, c'est. En tant qu'Africaine, c'est une chance pour, pour l'Afrique voilà, de voir euh, que des Africains prennent à bras le corps l'histoire voilà, de l'Afrique, euh, la destinée de l'Afrique et l'avenir aussi de, de l'Afrique.